Hey guys, Prime Kira here, and today we're playing a game called Duelist. It is a strategy game with a grid system in regards to like the movement and mobility of the map. Turn based, of course. And in this one, you are a magician, essentially summoning minions with your spell book and using spells as a result to essentially kill your opponent. Um, it kind of feels retro in a way, in regards to like its appearance and such. <clears throat> and being a rather big fan of the strategy franchise or the strategy genre and such, I, I had to give this a go. So I'm going to give the training grounds a bit of a test just to see the mechanics of the game. And then I'm going to play a game online and see how it goes. So, tutorial knowledge is power. Summon your minions and use them to attack Salibro. Calibro? Salibro? I'm not sure on how it's meant to be pronounced, but I'm going to call him Calibro. You can see by the graphics already. It's very, uh, very interesting. See, there's your grid based square system. This is my general. Yep. Okay. Well, that's. That's fair enough. I guess that's. General knowledge. Okay, so movements two. Clicking. Click. Just so it's that like click on your character, then click on where you want to go. Okay, so every attack is a counter attack. And ten. Here we go. Here are our minions. You draw two new cards each turn. Two. Okay, it's good to know. Minions, join me. Golden Brawler. Okay. So four three. You gain one man at the start of your turn. <laughs> it's about time. You're off, you're off mana to summon your golem, so yep, we will summon you there. I have to wait a turn to attack summoning sickness. Cool. Oh yeah. Every attack is a retaliation. Um, so basically if you attack anything, I guess unless there's a first strike type system, they're always going to trade. Okay, that's good knowledge. Summoning a silver moon. So you're running away. You can summon a 1-2. There. Okay. Summon your hailstone golem. Oh, I see. Now, if he wants to attack me... Okay. He's running away, summoning himself for 2-2. Two, two. This thing's got the mobility. Okay. Challenge begins. Yeah, that's a challenge right there. But the, the fight will always happen on both sides. <laughs> I suppose in half. It's like, come at me. Now, this is cool. And quite simple to understand concept wise, for the basics anyway. All attacks will happen on both sides, I assume, unless there is something which is, I guess, first attack or cannot retaliate or something like that. Um, and yeah, first one to die wins. First one to die loses. Occupy mana springs and learn to cast spells on the battlefield. Also, I'm assuming these are going to be places to gain one extra mana. Oh, there was a game I played which had this system. I forgot it was called. It's a pain. Player 2 is on the right. So I'm going to move forward and potentially some, some, some something there. I don't think I can actually. There's nothing there. Okay. Occupy any mana spring to gain bonus mana. And move there. Nothing I can do. End turn. Ooh. Here we make our stand. He's gonna sum something in there, isn't he? Grow. <laughs> Get it? Grow? Get a mana? Grow? Mana ramp? No? My only sees the uh, the joke there. Lethal enemy minions are blocking your diagonal path. No matter, I'll take the center. Get myself some mana. Come at me, bro. So, ping ping. 
Five mana. Yeah, see. Do it again. Cast tree strike onto enemy ground. Yes, I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so I can re uh, replace one card. Another tree spell. Cool. <laughs> now I got them back anyway. <laughs> now this is a really nice game. Okay, so he's got a mana. Triton Warrior Wall. Just a 3 2. Okay, so he summons a wall of 3 2s. So that's cool. Finish off General Rook in one turn. How much like what life is he on? What's the movement on this? So if I get rid of this, this has to go. I assume we can move in here. Yeah. So it's a really fluid game. Really easy to understand. And I could always move in and fight as well. Like it's a really really fluid game. It moves really nice. It looks beautiful. And I'm excited to play this online. So turn the tide of battle by equipping artifacts. Choose starting hand. Oh my god, you can choose to keep hands. Let's replace just that. I want to replace this as well. Five mana seems a bit high for a starting hand, but... General gains plus one attack. Okay. You have enough mana to summon your uber. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. He gets the first mana. So whenever General takes damage, it loses durability. Okay, that's cool. So if I fight, I lose one durability. Ice barricades. Some ice barricades. Zero seven wall. Okay, that's that's cute. Um. The BTVs can't fight, but it's a really frustrating wall. This is for... <sighs> okay. You can equip two art artifacts at once. Okay. Because I've got 4-7, he's probably not going to want to... Yeah. I was going to say, he's not going to really want to like, hit me with his hero too much. Finish off the Lord in one turn. So, I'm assuming this will be the case. Get rid of this because I can. Oh my god, he looks cool. So it's, what, life for my arm on three. He has a two damage weapon, I'm going to live. This tax for three and we'll die to him, so... This is great. Mm. Victory. Play your first 1v1. Okay, I want to do this. Does it tell me which one? I, I guess season rank ladder. And then they have starter decks. Um, if the Lionel Kingdoms, the Songhai Empire. I don't know which one to pick. They were the exact same ratio of cards. Um, I assume that I've just played the Lionel Kingdoms, so I should probably give them a bash. I'm gonna give the Songhai Empire a go. Oh, he looks cool. Oh, yeah, right, so we can see the heroes. How about you? Yeah, you're the one I've just played. I can read all of you guys later. For now, I just want to play. Let's see the Vetruvian Imperia. Imperium? I don't know. Now you look weird. You look like a Necro guy. Too spooky for me. Too spooky for me. 
I assume this is like parasites. Okay, I found a game in one second there. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, let's go. Choose starting hand. Two on flying. Whenever your general damages an enemy, en enemy, enemy minion or general summon a 1 1 Wrath Um, I think in this case, which I'm there, I might shuffle back the Hellstone Golem. Okay, so I've pretty strong board here. So my turn move forward. Can I type? I can't type. Okay. So I'm going for this very aggressive mana ramp turn here, so they're gonna like move there. I don't know what I'm gonna do at the moment. I mean she can move forward and summon, so. She's gonna summon into that. To um she can summon that far forward. No, she can't summon that far forward. It'd be ridiculous. So my three one on wrath things next to each other. Okay, that's value right there. All these one ones. I think I'm gonna place this four, darn it. So it's three, two, three, four. I could do that. I just miscounted, didn't I? I'm going all in here, aggression. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose my birds here, but with the two on ones, it's like board presence, and I took all the mana. I'm really, really ashamed that I miscounted that. I should have just played the one and then dropped the. F that was that was what I intended on doing. So I really screwed up there. But I've got these one one, one one wrath wraithlings that aren't really going to do much, but they're there basically. Oh, she's got the exact same weapon. So she gets 1-1. One, one. Okay, so we have an interesting board. Oh wow, all of the mana is spent on destroying that and turning it into 1-1. One, one. Is that an enemy 1-1 one, one, or my 1-1? One, one? That's really cute. Oh my, oh my god, the stats on that. Whoa, the stats on that.
I'm not going to attack all of them just yet, but I have basically surrounded her. Um, I'm not sure on how this game is meant to be played yet, so... Um, all I know is I'm enjoying it. And you can kind of see my idea here, it's like, surround her, stop her mobility. This now gives her the freedom to move and like, these obviously chase her. Um, I should probably start summoning some bigger things here. Oh, what's he summoning? What's she summoning? Okay, 3-2. Another 3-2. Another one. Oh my god, she's really flow. Like, that, was an, that was a misplay, I think. Okay, so that's going to go there and kill that one. It's all hers. I can move this back. can drop this here, and this here, and I'm protected. Okay. Of course, this is my first ever game. I'm not too knowledge one help. Oh, not another one. That's a massive pain. This is like complete board domination. Got the evil. Got three twos coming my way. Ugh. And she's gonna summon more stuff, I think. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Admitting this is now my time to drop the big body. Ugh. Scumbag. Oh my god. Got a four nine. Well, I'm completely trapped here. I understand I, uh, this idea, like, I'm literally trapped. So if I attack that, and I summon a 1-1 one -one rifling, am I stuck? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna die soon. Problem is, if I trap myself with my own minion, well, that doesn't really sound too good, does it? But if I place that there, what does it accomplish? Nothing. It doesn't accomplish anything there either, so I'm gonna summon it there. I mean, admittedly, things can get around me, but. Whatever hits me is going to die anyway, so I need to just summon something else. That's a bit of a shame, but I'm enjoying this thoroughly, and I can kind of see the strategy here. I mean, had I obviously put that there, I could have... Oh my god, that's going to get massive. I wouldn't hit me and die, and that's gonna just be huge. And I can't really escape all of this now. I'm gonna stop moving the mouse. It's probably gonna be quite annoying. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna get so big. I guess she's not gonna actually attack with these, just so she can keep me there for lethal next turn. Hmm. Like this one can attack me. I don't know if I agree with that. I'm just gonna attack with everything. Oh, you scumbag. I 
wherever I go, she's in the way. And she can she can reach me wherever I go, so. Eight mana. I'll put that there. To be honest, it doesn't matter where I put it. I'll put that there, she'll just run that way. I'll put that there. It means things are gonna just be summoned on that side and she'll be in my front. that there. This thing can't really move. Oh, this stops her from killing me. I think she can't have the mobility. She might have the mobility to get around, actually. Yeah. She is the case I've lost. If not, then... I feel like this is my time to, like, potentially come back, but I just... No, I don't have enough life. But this is a very interesting game, and I'm very interested and curious as to the mindset behind how you really play this, and I'm willing to learn. So, no doubt, you should be seeing more of this in the future. The question is, can this get round? Oh man. Yeah, she can get there. Well played. I was a little bit too aggressive. Is she just going to box me in with monsters? Oh wow, you scumbag. <laughs> it's 4, 8, 9, 11 if this dies. No, there's no way to win this. I'm going to stop moving the mouse. And she's going to leg it, and the minion's going to do all the work for her. Okay. She can hit that. Let's see, can I actually get out of here? Well, I can't kill everything, so no. I move here. Move here. Move here. Attack this. Got three mana. I should have summoned that first. Darn it. I can still be hit by her. What am I talking about? That was a good game. This was my first game. Oh, level 2. Deal 1 damage to an enemy and move it to any space on the battlefield. That's a really cool card. It's like throwing things around. <laughs> okay. Ooh, gold. Money, money, money. Aha, ultimate aggressor. Aggressor. Ah, oh, well. Got a lot to learn about this game, but I'm very willing, and I'm definitely going to be putting some time into this. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm in a good time. I'm having a good time. But for now, I think this is my time to say goodbye. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, no matter where you are. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you all again. And I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't. Any feedback is appreciated at the end of the day. So, yeah.
I shall say my farewells, and don't forget guys, no matter how good or bad at any game you play you are, <laughs> always play at your prime. This is Prime Kira, signing out.